The OM MIDI controller was designed for easy performance and total control of Livid Union. The OM's interface mimics the on-screen interface of Union for simple integration. When you purchase your OM, it includes a free copy of the latest version of Union. The first thing you'll need to do is install the USB drivers and Union from the OM install disk. Once you have these applications installed, you can begin to use the OM in Union as a real-time video performance instrument. The version of Union that comes with the OM is pre-configured to work the first time you start the application. All of the settings on the OM's interface are pre-mapped to the controls in the software. You can see this immediately by pressing any one of the buttons in the clip bank or moving the crossfader on your instrument. If you need specific descriptions on the OM and Union MIDI map, please refer to the map layout in your OM user's guide. We have set up the MIDI map in Union for the OM for the features we find the most essential. But remember, the map can be changed in Union if there are other things you would rather use the controls for. To assign a video to either channel A or B on the OM, simply use the crossfader to set A or B by crossfading to that channel. Press a button on the controller's clip bank pad to select the video file from Union's clip bank. Use the crossfader to move between the videos triggered to A or B. The transform button on either side of the crossfader allows you to quickly transform from A to B and vice versa. To do an auto fade from A to B, press the shift button and the transform button to automate the fade between A and B. An array of 8 sliders and 8 knobs allow you to easily add effects to either channel A or B. Union for Ohm is pre-configured to set the A controllers on the left side of the instrument to channel A and the B controllers on the right side to channel B. On the software interface, you can change the effects assigned to the controller by using the effects selection window. Each knob or slider can be assigned to a different effect or multiple parameters of the same effect. To activate an effect with a slider or knob, simply move one on the instrument. This will add or subtract different effect parameters as specified in the software. For this example, we are using the effects from Effects Preset 1 labeled Instant Effects. The Instant Effects preset has the effect parameter for many effects assigned to it, which simply turns the effect into a wet-dry method. When I move a slide or a knob, you can see the effect being added and subtracted from each video channel. To turn off an effect, use the FX OFF button on the OM, also labeled F9. When an effect is applied to a video channel, moving a slider or knob with a different effect will override the current effect. To layer multiple effects, you can either choose a different layer to place that effect on, or change the controller options to bind a slider permanently to a specific effects layer. The trigger buttons located below the sliders allow you to trigger the effect parameter set by the slider. For example, if I have the slider set to electrodelic effect and I have that slider all the way up, pressing the trigger momentarily will activate that effect while I hold it down and deactivate it upon release. In addition to the movie A and B channels, you can add up to four movie layers on top of your video output. Use the Add Movie Layer or F4 button to add a movie layer. Once a layer is active, you can use the Opacity knob to set the opacity of the movie layers. To delete a movie layer, use the F8 or Subtract Movie Layer button to remove each layer. Use the BPM Tap button to set a central BPM for use in creating loops, using LFOs, and the automator. To set the BPM, simply tap the beat on the instrument. Next to the tap button is the master fade to black control. Use this knob to fade the entire output in and out. The software interface also has an auto fade in and out buttons. You can add movies to the clip bank by selecting them from the file browser in Union, dragging them onto the bank. Use the triggers on the ohm to trigger the file instantly. You can rename and save a clip bank, and use the clip bank up and down labeled F1 and F5 on the ohm to move between clip banks. 
just as clip bank presets can be changed and saved on the fly, effect bank presets can also be changed, created, saved, and navigated by using the effects up or down buttons, also labeled F2 and F6, on the ohm. A live video feed can be triggered directly from the instrument by pressing the video in button. This works with a firewire, DV, digitizer, or USB camera attached to your computer. You can configure your device in the video in module and use the ohm to turn the camera feed on and off. Effects can also be used with the camera for mixing and manipulation. Union has a sound input module that can be used to select audio files, mix an audio input, or rewire source. The audio can be used to create a waveform that you can mix effects and video with. Use the waveform module to select the type of waveform you want to create and press the wave button on your ohm to activate and deactivate the waveform drawing. 